Hello YouTube, this is the month of September and the month of September is PCOS Awareness Month and today I will be discussing the PCOS diet plan. Now there are many many books and many things that you can search on the web for um, what you're supposed to eat and what you're not supposed to eat for the PCOS diet plan. A lot of doctors and a lot of OBGYNs will tell you to eat a low glycemic index diet. Now, in a low glycemic index diet, um, it gives you um, I've looked up Dr. Oz's low glycemic index diet and there is basically nothing there that you can eat as a meal. So here I will discuss um, exactly what a PCOS diet looks like. Um, a PCOS diet, um, when dealing with a hormonal imbalance, sugars are not broken down in your body as they should be. So, watch your sugar intake. Um, also, you can use other things to sweeten um you can use stevia stevia is a good sweetener to replace sugar um also um fruits some fruits um then when dealing with pcos your body doesn't break down the fructose as the way that it should but fruits are part of the PCOS diet plan. You um, you should eat fruit unless you have a a certain infection, and that would be a yeast overgrowth. If you have a yeast overgrowth, then you should not consume fruits. The only fruit that you should be consuming when dealing with your yeast overgrowth should be lemons and lime. Um, no other fruit should be contained when trying to deal with a yeast overgrowth. And this yeast overgrowth is called candida. Candida overgrowth. And the way to um, get rid of it is by cleansing, cleansing your body and um, doing a parasite cleanse. This can be found on the web. You can use Google to search um, parasite cleanses as well as um, just eating a healthy, balanced diet. Um, PCOS consists of a 75% raw food diet. Now, um, a raw food diet could simply be raw vegetables like, um, like carrots and, um, kale. Um, anything that is a vegetable as long as it is raw and um, complex carbohydrates um, basically eating healthy um, no white sugar no white flours um, eat whole grain whole foods um and if you can limit the sugars um limit the dairy and 
um, exercise, focus on exercising along with eating healthy. And that is the PCOS diet plan. Um, to replace your diet, to replace your dairy, such as the milks, you can use um, nut milks, you can use soy milk. Um, some people are allergic to soy, so you can use nut milks, and some people are allergic to nuts. Well, some people are allergic to peanuts. Um, it depends on what nut that you are specifically allergic to. Um, but there are many different nut milks out there. And there's soy milk. And you can replace your regular whole white milk or skim milk or whatever type of milk that you drink. You can replace that with nut milks and soy milk. And this is all that I have for the PCOS diet plan and as always thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video